some stuff I'm working for for my website. Um, we're going to talk about the uh, CSV files. Okay, a CSV file, when you look at one, we'll open this with a text editor. All it really has is it has the tag names I had at the start with commas in between them. That's what's called comma separated variables. And then it has each variable below it also separated with variables. Now I'll show you when I, when I generated that with uh, the spreadsheet program. When I generated those numbers, there's actually a, a uh, formula inside this thing. All of that information got lost when it went to CSV file. So that's why you always want to save in a uh, in spreadsheet format and not just in CSV format because you're going to lose all of your uh, calculations and everything. However, we're still a little more talking about those calculations. I created another one. I just copied that one and called this one mess because I knew I was going to mess it up. And I got a uh, kept a good sheet but I copied it over to a bad sheet and my formula right in here I use a multiplier and then over here is where I put the multiplier so you see every one of these is referencing that same multiplier and then for going down I use the number I just called it sub because I couldn't think of a good name and uh, I subtract this number from the sub to create this number right here and that's what caused it to go down if I save this file at this moment in a CSV, and we'll go through the whole thing on how you save it as a CSV. I do a uh, file save as. I've already created one with this name, but we're going to go to the trouble showing you. And it works exactly the same in Excel. Um, if I want to save this thing as a CSV file, I click on CSV and it's going to try to give it the same name and it says I got one and I go yeah well, that's okay to replace it and uh, it says use text CSV format it's saying are you really sure you want to do this and I, yeah I'm sure okay the stuff I blew past last time is the field delimiter is a comma by default on this program and I believe it's tab by default on uh, on Excel but either one will work and then text delimiter is quotes which we don't have any quotes up in this so I save all this contents as shown I save it and it warns me again that only the active sheet was saved so again I lost Gooden I called this page Badden and the other one was Gooden uh, I lost Gooden I lost any of these other any of these other worksheets that are down here which the others don't have anything so we'll go look at this and see what it looks like in text format and there it is right there so we'll open it up with text editor text editor on Linux is very similar to notepad there are a few differences uh, but it's very similar to notepad in Microsoft Word or Microsoft windows and you see that it's got these commas in here it's saved remember I had multiply setting over about four or five columns away from the others so it saved that whole sheet and uh, it put multiply and, and sub over here and then it put these uh, these commas to make sure that it padded everything out to make the same size so now we'll call it up in views. So I've got views mess. I'll open that up. And we're going to do as if we're going to import this page, this data. And uh, as you can see, it padded it all out so that it has that. I did not give this column a, na a name. So what's what happens is I import it. It gave it the name column six. 
So, and it only has two pieces of data in it, and then it has the data for all the others. It's a whole lot better if you set, if you're going to use Excel or, or any kind of spreadsheet to create the data to uh, make sure you kind of line it all up on the spreadsheet. Otherwise, you get confusing stuff. Okay, this is pretty much the same one that we did in the last uh, video. And then there's the polar one still there. What I did was copy the whole, uh, the whole document, the, the whole views document. But then I copied page 1 to page 3. And if you look at this graph right here, for my XY value for 1, I decided to use count column 6 for my Y data. And you see I got these two points. Uh, let's say that I wanted to try to use something else. You'll notice that I only got of these values over here. I only got for a multiplier, which is what it called the one text that uh, the one that had just the text items. It just calls that a text file, and it can't import it into uh, into a uh, a graph because. Uh, there's no way of importing it because it's just text. So, you know, they, they can't do anything with graphing. Again, what I'm trying to say is that when you do create a, uh, when you create a CSV file, you want to make the CSV file as simple as you can uh, and just transfer just the data you want. Also, whenever you create a CSV file from a spreadsheet, Make sure you save the spreadsheet in spreadsheet format first, which would be X, XLS or XLSX in uh, Microsoft. It's ODS, I believe, is what it was called here. Let's look and see. Yeah, ODS format in LibreOffice. And I'm not sure in Mac. I don't have a Mac. But save it in the spreadsheet format. Then go ahead and do a save as and save it in the... Uh, the CSV format. Often, if you didn't decide to go back and change the spreadsheet, uh, you need to re reload into the spreadsheet format because uh, while you're in the CSV, uh, it's going to attempt to save it back as a CSV. So, <laughs> let me show you what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to open this with LibreOffice. And it's now telling me what it looks like when I open that up. Uh, it's got this stuff. It sized the cells so that they would fit just right. So I got a little bit of a funny looking spreadsheet here. Funny on the widths of them. But automatically if I do a file save. Well let's go ahead and type something in here. So we'll put the X there so that it really wants to save it. If I try to do a save, it's going to say, try to save it in CSX format. I've lost all my other information on my other tabs already. I only have just the one spreadsheet. So when you're going back and you're having to uh, rework your spreadsheet for some reason, Go back directly into the spreadsheet, then resave into CSV. And that's pretty much all the gotchas of, uh, of CSV. Uh, it's really a simple format, but you have to remember that you want to stay simple when you're using it. Appreciate you listening. Hopefully this will uh, help you. Next one we'll talk about how I uh, save the format when I write it in a, write a Python program. Again, appreciate you listening. It's Gary Fox.